Hi, this is Jilly Bling. I have a card for Manly May. Um, usually in May, I try to make Manly cards. And usually I make a lot of Manly cards in May and then consider it done. Um, because, I don't know, I have a hard time making Manly cards. Usually I'm following my heart and I guess I'm a girly girl and I like girly stuff and flowers and bling. Um, but we need manly cards and I like manly cards here and there. So this one was in the last catalog and I kind of overlooked it. But then when I saw it was making its way to the new catalog, I thought, well, let me give it a try. So I ordered it and I love it. It goes together really fast and really easy. And isn't that just beautiful? So this is today's project. It is Grassy Grove Bundle. There's a stamp set. And we'll be using blending brushes. Here's the dies. There's a lot of different things you could do with the stamp set. You could have this mound of dirt back behind here. The little flowers, the silhouettes of the flowers are beautiful. I did a little bit on the inside with stamping the flowers three times. I love the trees, but the moon, ooh, I love the moon. Okay, so this is kind of, kind of an easy one. So for the words, I used an old set, nested dies, but today I want to use a current set, which is meadow. Meadow dies, it has a nice, a nice die. So we'll use that one today. Okay, ready to get started? And like I said, it's kind of like strangely easy. I keep thinking, oh, add something to it, maybe some linen thread. But I don't think it needs more. Okay. So let's start with the bottom. We'll go through that whole pile of stuff. Whole pile of products. dark colors. Let's get out a little critter and then I need some bigger paper to cut out the um, the bigger one. Doesn't everyone have piles of paper like this? Okay, so There's that one. That's the, that's like the mama deer. And she's looking back at the baby and the baby's saying, hey, what you doing? Okay. And since I have that die out, let's cut out this one. And this is just a um, sheet of paper and it is four by five and a quarter, just a little bit smaller. Let's cut out these three. And if you're thinking, oh my gosh, you're almost done, you're right. This goes really fast. We still have to do the, um, the blending brushes, though. Okay, so this is Misty Moonlight, a little bit of white, and that. And then on the inside, it's Misty Moonlight and white. Okay. Look at that. It's like it's almost there. If you had colored paper, you could consider it done. And I saw a lot of people, they um, stamped words right in through here, and that's really nice, too. Okay, so let's do the words. So how about for words we do... See the good. Oh, I did that one on this one, which is nice. Or how about thank you? So that's kind of a small word and it's gonna go on this big label, but it will be just fine. I just need to make sure to leave enough room for the big label. Okay, so that's in verse mark. Oh, and the inks, the 
inks we'll be using are Versamark or um, Memento Versamark Crumb Cake, Soft Sea Foam, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Night of Navy. Or any colors you have, or you can make it more of a glowing warm color sunset in pinks and oranges, whatever you like. Thank you. Should have used my embossing buddy. Here's the die, get it centered, and I'm going to cut out this one in black, and I'll also cut out a second one in Lost Lagoon. So, now that these are cut out, um, see on this one how there's just the little bits of color hanging off the end? If it was just the black, it would be lost because the background, the trees are black. So to do that, and you could do this with any punch or any die, if you don't have something that would be perfectly layering. And this set did have a bigger, um, what shape is that? One, two, three, a, um, a hexagon, but it was just too big. So doing this little method works out well. I've been doing this method quite a bit lately. So I'm just gonna put some glue on the ends And get it lined up. See, just a little, little gap. So I'll let that dry. So let's work on the blending brushes and getting that moon. Oh, this piece here, there's conveniently two dies. And I was going to put four of these little leaves on here, but I don't think that it needs more. So I'm going to cut out these. These will be attached in just a minute. Okay, let's get to doing that pretty moon, the background. You don't know how often we have deer in the back. And Bo being a coon hound just goes crazy. We don't want anything to happen, so we have to wait until they clear out, and with him barking, they're like, what's going on in there? And um, usually they they move on themselves, but not always. So we have a blowhorn in the extra bedroom in the back. So when they're there, we open up the window, do the blowhorn, and they're like, oh, I guess I should move on. He's like, yeah. And in, in the meantime, Bo is just going crazy. And we don't fault him for that. That's That's his... His job in life is to pr protect us from predators coming in, and he just wants to play, but mm, no, he's not going to be playing with any, any Bambies. Okay, so I have blending brushes, one for each color, and Seafoam, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and the Misty Moonlight, it didn't seem to show too much, so this time I'm going to work a little harder at getting it to show. 
So I'm going to start with the top, and you can start with the bottom if you want, it doesn't matter. So this is the Knight of Navy, and I'm purposely wanting it really heavy. So, and it's fine if it's splotchy at the top. Because first of all, it won't be seen very much, and I'm going to apply so much more color that it won't be splotchy anymore. The less the ink that's on the brush, the softer it gets. So see how, how I'm drifting down the paper, how it's a little bit softer? That's because there's not too much ink left on the brush. And I want to drift down into the misty moonlight zone just so that the colors are blended. Oh, and the post-it. Just any size circle punch you have, even if it's just a small one, is fine. And I um, punched out a post-it. And my punch is getting a little tired. It kind of munched up the one side. Actually, jammed up the post. Jammed up the punch. Um, and punch out any side circle on a post-it. And because the post-it is a little bit thinner paper, you might have to um, redo it and get another one because you don't want the paper so saturated that your moon is no longer white. Misty Moonlight. And these are brand new pads, so they've got a lot of ink in them, which is another thing that causes the streaks. But I'm fine with the streaks. So Misty Moonlight compared to Navy is a little bit more of a yellow blue. This is more of a um, red purple blue. And then it's a little bit yellower there. I think I need some color right up through here. Yeah, this one is streaky. Okay, and then Lost the Goon. Stampin' in jammies. This card, I could not believe how quick it went together last night. I was thinking it would take quite a bit more time, but it's done. I kept on wanting to add bling on. Oh, that's really streaky. But it's okay. But this project... If ever you've never done blending brushes, never ever, this is a good project to learn on. Okay, and then finally, and you can see each of the colors in here. You can see the navy, the misty moonlight, and the lost lagoon. Finally, soft sea foam, kind of being a little bit close to grass color. Isn't that pretty? So today I'm kind of excited. At 9 o'clock, I have a, a Zoom meeting with Annie. And Annie has, well, let me put it this way. My blog, I've been told, is very outdated. My blog is jillybling.com. Get it while you can. And um, I've been told, you need to refresh it. Just a minute. <gasps> Here's the, here's the revealing moment. Doesn't that look great? So if the post-it was saturated, the ink would be coming through and it would be deposited on the moon and it wouldn't be so bright. So that's why you want to um, replace the post-it once it gets a little bit saturated. But this right here. See how there's a little bit of color back behind the deer? I think that accentuates the look of the moon. 
So I'm going to add a little bit of sea foam and maybe some lagoon in there. And then it's time for assembling. And I pulled out my black dimensionals. I've had these for like three or four years, never used them. This is the moment. Okay, so Annie, um, so I went online and I just typed in blog internet designer um, just because supposedly I need help. It's like my other one, it was, um, I thought it looked fine, but okay, I've been told it doesn't. Um, but there was a lot of things that weren't working and I have no idea how to make stuff like that work. I even had directions on how to do it because the previous person I hired to do it every month, she just says, okay, I quit. And I guess she was doing quite a few other people. So I asked her, can I have directions? And she never responded to me. And then finally she goes, okay, we'll set up a meeting. She goes, oh, I think we need to do like a Zoom meeting. This just isn't working. Because I, it's hard to, sh I'd rather show you than try to tell you where to go to update stuff. I'm like, okay. Anyhow, she was not very responsive. Eventually she sent directions, but it, the directions didn't work very well. <sighs> so finally, that was like two years ago. I haven't updated in that long. Um, so I just went online and I found someone. And Annie is wonderful. But it cost way too much. She goes, oh no, you don't need, you don't need to do type pad. You need to do this other provider. And I'm like, oh, okay. I, I don't know. And um, so... I'm going to talk with her today and she's going to give me a run through. This has been months in the making and today is the day. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm expected to figure out how to keep it updated and it's going to have a whole new look. I don't even know what the look is. She was saying, what kind of font do you want? <laughs> like, I don't know. She goes, well, here, pick from these. Okay. And I did. But to me, they all look good. I was like, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm thinking, oh. I like that. I, oh, I like that one. So I sent her two. I don't know which one. Okay, so I'm using my black dimensionals just because I was putting dimensionals on the other one and it's like I should get my sharpie and color the side of them. I'm like, wait a minute. Because see how you could see the dimensionals on there? I was thinking I'd just take a sharpie and color them. And look what I have. Yeah, and these are, I think, like six dollars. Then you get two packages of full regular size ones and two packages of minis. Okay, <gasps> look how perfect that works. You can't see them at all. Finally. Today is a good day. Okay, so I have my dimensionals on there. They're going to go over the moon. Oh, look at that. Aren't you impressed with us? I am. And there's a little bit of give in where you put this because the white is just a little bit smaller than the black. I like the card is almost done just like that this is the easiest card of all time okay of the ones that I've put up we have a little bit more to do but it is easy we have to put the deer in there it's funny last night I was posting this to Instagram and as I said, in our backyard, we see this all the time. During, while typing, that one phrase, guess what appeared in the backyard? And Bo was going crazy, so we had to shift and redo all kinds of things to get the deer out of the yard. So these two deer, I like it where... The mom is talking to the baby and it looks like the baby's talking rather than them looking in different directions being observative deer. I like it better when they're um, 
They're looking at each other. Up there. And I want to put the mama deer face so at least you can see. Oh, that's kind of sweet. It's very sweet. Okay, so they're both going to be in the moon this time. How did I do this one? Oh, they're both in the moon there. I was trying to get them weaved, um, woven in between the trees. But I, I just want to see the silhouette of her face. And I think it gets um, a little um, not clear, convoluted, once her face is up here into the trees. And I could drop her down lower, but I like her feet too. I like all of her. Okay, these black dimensionals are perfect for this card. Okay. And little one. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue underneath little one's feet just to attach to the, the grassy grove at the bottom. Hey, Mom. And if I have it backed up just a little bit, there will be a hint of white there. There you go. a little bit of glue and that will dry clear okay let's work on the words so well that looks good so the words on this one I tucked them in in between the layers and I kind of forgot here but that's okay maybe I think both of them over here. I think it's too far away from the the words. They both go over here. Somehow. I've seen people online, and this is a good idea, where you lift up the tree image so it's higher, so there's more black down below. And they put words there. Maybe you could tuck in a little. There. Now no one would know that I didn't put in between the layers. I love it when a plan works out. This one I put on with dimensionals. Dimensional right into the glue. Yeah. Okay. Dimensionaled and glued it is. And then next we work on the inside. just think it's so pretty. Okay. And if you want, I see just a hint of the Lost Lagoon paper right here. If you want, you could take your snips and just kind of trim it. This one, I could see it right up here. Because we don't need that much. A 
Okay, let's work on the inside. Because the outside is done just like that. Okay, so the inside we're going to do, looks like the moon is coming up a little more. We're going to do the, um, the moon up here. And you know this deer, I did him in crumb cake. And I might, I might do him in black. I think that will look better. So again, let's start with the navy. Ooh. There's a sticky. Sticky is over here. Okay, I just need to be careful. And there's nice words in here. I might put some on the inside on this one. And this navy smudge down here will be fine because after I stamp the, um, oh, the there's a different mound. Um, I was trying to fill it in with a little bit of a darker color. So that, that will be just fine there. Well, because I went over it again. Okay, I'm going to hold it. Success. Okay, Misty Moonlight. I can't make it too dark because then writing your greeting inside or your little message. <laughs> it will be lost in the dark. New stamp pads. Okay, and then Lost Lagoon. And it's a little streaky, but it will dry softer and lighter and not quite as streaky um, once it's dry. It'll be better. A little bit heavy on the edges, but that's okay. Okay, saving room for soft sea foam. Look at that, it just comes together. Okay. And then let's add a hint of color to the moon.
Okay, I think we're done with blending brushes. So now in the stamp set, there was a different big one, a big background. And I want to use this one. Oops, this block. I think it'll be okay. I'm going to put it right here. Maybe down a little low. Oh, that's pretty. Memento. And I want to get good coverage on this stamp. going to test it out once just to make sure it's a brand new stamp. Okay, so I think that's good enough to stamp on the card, but I'm going to test it first. That will do it just fine. So, do it one more time. I got little marks on my on my moon. To me, when I look at this, it almost looks like like that one. It almost looks like desert, or maybe it could be snow. Pretty. Maybe a little bit more needs to be over there. Okay. And how about? Somehow I'm not sure how that happened. I got yuck in my my moon. It's not soaking through. Well, I don't know that trees belong there. So how about hmm, back to the big trees? And then I'm going to do the deer in black. Has crumb cake on it. Very nice. And then on the front, I have thank you. How about sometimes you need to know that someone really cares. That's nice. I love this font too. Should I do it right in the moon? How about just centered? It'll cover up those little dots. With it being half on and half off, I'm feeling a little arty. There, and you have plenty of room to write. Happy birthday. Thank you. Okay. So which one do you like better for the inside? This one is a little bit calmer. There's less going on. I think this background is a little bit more softer. Do you like the black or the crumb cake? Deer. Kind of like the trees in the moon. It's all pretty. Oh, that's nice. Little layer of misty moonlight.
Okay, so there is today's project. Kind of easy, kind of impressive. Okay, thanks. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up is appreciated. Okay, bye.